G'day everyone and welcome to the March 2023 episode of Australian Model Railway News. We'll go through all the news, announcements and updates in the Model Railway, well, industry. As well as that, don't forget to stay tuned to the end so you can find out about all the currently announced exhibitions and conventions happening throughout Australia. Australian Model Railway News and other videos on this channel are made possible by the Patreons on Patreon. And welcome to the new members this month. And if you are interested in joining the community, there is more information in the description below. As well as the Scale Model Supply, who make excellent paint and modelling accessories, and ABR Model Works, who provide easy to build structures and modular baseboards, both who offer 10% off all their products for viewers of this channel, and WillJamesRailways.com for railway related photos and merchandise. And of course, don't forget to be subscribed so you can keep up to date with my weekly videos. So let's kick off the news this month with an announcement of the new sponsor of Australian Model Railway News, Trackside Models from South Australia. Trackside Models produce high quality laser cut kits that are made right here in Australia. And I'll bring you more news and details on Trackside Models products soon to kick off with a video coming, well, very soon on the rack and stack storage systems. Now this month, they have got a couple of new products in, starting with an N-Scale Federation house a simple kit that requires gluing and your choice of paint, or even perhaps an accompanying laser cut fence. As well as that, coming in April is a HO scale Mount Victoria signal box, which is currently being worked on, but will be released during April. The house is priced at $27.95 and the fence at $12.95. The signal box in HO will be $64 and will also have an N scale version to follow, well, eventually. All these and others will be available from Somerset Models in South Australia, Modelers Warehouse in Queensland, and Model Emporium in Melbourne. Philip Badgerbits had a number of new models, kits, and 3D prints on display at the Forestville Model Railway Exhibition at the beginning of the month in Sydney, with tooling samples for many new New South Wales rolling stock and vehicles. Phil has been hard at work working on many new and exciting things, especially some of his new 3D prints, especially in N scale. And frankly, they're some of the best I've seen. These also include a conversion for the BCHs to NGMAs, RHJYs, and even a new top for the FWH wagon. Phil added that the N-Scale 48s should arrive in May, with more details that will be available soon on his new products. So next to Phil at the Forestville Model Railway Exhibition was Ixon Models, who have now given us the list of the available wagon numbers for their MF and LF bogey vans and they are as follows. They'll be available in triple and single packs. They have said that the MF wagons are less complicated to produce than the LF sheep wagons, so therefore they are cheaper. So with that, the RRP on the MFs are $84.50 for a single wagon and $253.50 for a three pack. And the LFs will be priced at $89.50 for a single pack and $268.50 for a three pack. They are now expected to arrive around May or June. To add to that, the J-Class rerun is now due at the end of April, although that is dependent on the shipping from the warehouse, with these locomotive numbers and variations. These will be in DC with a 21 pin Dakota socket in the tender, and they are also only limited to 100 of each number. Although if you are after a bit of a tip or you, know, you want a different running number, Brian at Broad Gauge Models has alternative number boards. And lastly, just a reminder that Ixon doesn't offer pre-orders, but most hobby shops will accept them. So contact your favorite model shop and ask them about placing an order on the model that you want. Jim Hamilton from Scale Workshop will soon be releasing an N-Scale fire station and fire truck kit. The kit will feature a corrugated shed with the option of having roller doors or a single door. This kit will also have an N-Scale fire truck supplied in the kit, which was manufactured by Badger Bits. The kit will also have several options of the State Fire Brigade abbreviations. And here's the most important thing. It will only be available at the Epping Model Railway Exhibition in May. And this will also be a limited run with the kits being priced at $55. And having seen these at the recent Kyneton Exhibition, it does look excellent. And I reckon it'll look great on any Australian layout. News from Linden's Trains. Linden's got two new releases that are coming up for N scales at the Easter show at Diamond Creek. These are the National Rail, RKIY and RRIY well wagons. Both kits will include resin printed body, decals, brake stands and etched shunter steps, micro trains bogies and a set of scale trains metal wheels and axles to replace the plastic micro trains ones. And with that, Linden's 830 class is now expected in May or June. 
Linden has also added the San Mato line, signal kits, and ready to run products to his range. Under the Cane Train label, a new batch of HO and 30 Morton Mill cane bins will also be available this Easter. In Owen 30, the Clyde Diesel is progressing, with custom mechs have now been sourced for this project, and these should be out around mid-year, along with some cane bins and bulk sugar bins. Australian Railway models who have previously bought us the 38 class locomotives at, well, that sweet price point at $299, uh, unofficially announced a New South Wales early K-Class, which became the 55-class steam locomotive. Although we don't currently have a lot of details, there have been a couple of, I guess, leaked pictures of what is possibly three different versions, uh, and we've got to assume that they will be priced at $299 for a DC model. Australian railway models were, I guess, unable to comment on this, but they did say that there will be news coming very soon about all the details for this model. DCC Sound now have sound projects for the 280 horsepower Walker. These sounds were recorded using RM91 at the Dalesford Railway, currently available for download and for sale from dccsound.com. News from Powerline Models, who announced that they're now moving their cutoff date for the pre-orders of the Victorian Railways and V-Line T classes to the 9th of July, with the model apparently coming later in 2023, but with no date currently announced. Prices are still sitting at $335 for a DC model and $435 for a DCC and sound equipped, which includes postage, with pre-orders only available by email. To add to that, they did say that according to their Chinese contractor, the last remaining and outstanding Z car products, which are the 707 operations and the PTV Z cars, should be delivered in 2023. However, this is out of their control, and they've said that they will continue to chase for the final five. So there are some new wagons and carriages coming from Paul's 3D prints. The Victorian Railway's number four sleeper with an aircon, which is an E-type sleeper. As well as that, he also has the AW, BW, and ABW cars, which have just been made. Paul also has available the interiors for these cars. As well as that, he has also made BCPL4 and 7 to go along with the other BPL cars, which were announced last month. As well as that, a very interesting carriage, WW76, a worker sleeper car. Now, Paul said he will have all of these available online, as well as at the Diamond Creek Show at Easter in Melbourne. And to add to that, he did say that there will be an unannounced wagon released at the exhibition. Wombat models still have expressions of interest open for their C30Ts in different colours. And if you are interested in them, please reach out to them. However, they are also about to add to their website spare parts for locomotives from cylinders, tail light covers, piping, and more. So keep an eye on their website for more details on the spare parts that will be available. A much anticipated update has been given to us from Bob's Hobbies, stating that the delivery of the 49 and 47 class locos in HO scale in various liveries will now be anticipated in April this year. However, they have added that due to the current economic circumstances, both improved reruns have been reduced in quantity. They also said that by the amount of inquiries so far received, it will likely sell out before it even gets here. So it's important to get your interest listed, with no deposit being a prerequisite. If you are after a pre-order, you can call their store, which now has an updated phone number. Funnily enough, a lot of you at quite a number of exhibitions have said that you have had a lot of trouble contacting them, so there's hopefully a solution. To that update, they added that later this year, the next rerun will be of the HO scale, New South Wales Railways 42 class, Victorian Railways S class, and Commonwealth Railways and Australian National Railways GM class. Numerous liveries, both old and new. Although they've said this will be a limited quantity rerun tailored to those current economic times of reduced consumer spending. It's also expected for release in 2024 be reruns of the 44 class locomotives in series one, two, and three in various new and old liveries as well as the ANR 930 class in green and gold. 
A limited rerun of the New South Wales Railways 48 class, South Australian Railways, Commonwealth Railways and Australian National Railways 830 classes in various liveries is another release under consideration. But they have added that this is all depending on the economic conditions prevailing financial new year 2023-2024. Trainorama has also completed sets of tooling that will be able to produce the New South Wales Government Railways Pullman type CBC, HX, CFX and AD vintage passenger cars, as well as the New South Wales High Elliptical, AM, BJ and FJ vintage sleeping and sitting passenger cars, including the TCS Rail Catering Staff Training Car. Production on these attractive cars is depending on the factory production time slot being available in the near future. And lastly, they announced that a production of an updated rerun of the popular four-wheel RU Wheat Wagon Hoppers is also on the list for production and release when possible. Along with New South Wales Railways brake vans, FHG, PHG, and the Victorian Railways ZLP Guards vans, although no dates or time frame for any of these. The SDS model's 900 class production samples were on show at the Canberra Model Railway exhibition during this month. And the shipment is now ready to go and just waiting for a slot onto a ship. Then once they're here, they'll be checked over. Now I do have some information about stock numbers and it's reported that the Australian National Livery may have sold out, or at least might be close to. So if you are after one, I would suggest contacting them now. And these models look great and I can't wait to get my hands on one. As well as the 900s, they also had pre-production tooling samples of the New South Wales four-wheel wagons. These are a completely new tool of the U, K, R, U and U, T wagons, with more information coming soon. During the month, Ascision released the much-anticipated and much-awaited G and BL class locomotives, having them made available at the Sandown Model Railway exhibition closely followed by having them online on Australian Modeler and as well as other hobby shops shortly after that. Some of the model numbers have now sold out, at least at the time of me recording this. With the release, there was unannounced Watco Australia locomotive G511 and G515 in the rail first livery. Now at the Sandown exhibition, panic buying got the best of me and uh, I picked up, well, one of each. Uh, I've got a BL and a G-Class. As it was stated uh, on Ascision's Facebook, or social media rather, that these were only going to be available potentially at Sandown. And yeah, once they were sold out, that was going to be it. Turns out it wasn't quite to be. I probably should have thought about the fact that these were going to be available at hobby stores. Nonetheless, I'm currently working on the review for these. They'll be out, well, eventually. So stay tuned for that. As well as that, Ascision posted photos of the CSX and other coated steel coil wagons. Although no further information aside from a photo posted to their Instagram. We can see, however, the delivered version of the CSX, to the recoded VFSX and to the later coded RCSF, as well as Pacific National wagons in a few variations shown. On being able to quickly speak with Decision at Sandown, they also told me that the Victorian Railway C-Class locomotives will be here in May. And from that point on, they'll be focusing on reruns. However, there's no more information than that. And to round out March, Decision has now posted photos of the N-Scale NR-Class locomotives to their social media, although there is no further information. However, we can see at least that they are here, or at least on the way, and they do seem to have new packaging. This was closely followed by Ascision releasing sets of pre-loaded sound decoders and speaker kits for a handful of locomotives. These include the 48 and 830 classes, 442, 85 and 86, 422 and 80 class locomotives, the 2020 release of the B class, the new GL, B and 44 class locomotives, as well as the NR and 600 classes. They've also added that there will be some coming soon, which include the Pay Bus, New South Wales Tangara and Tate sets. Hopefully they'll also add some of the older models to the list in the future. So in my own news, uh, I am now the distributor for Australian Model Trees by Ron Kavanagh. 
These will be sold from willjamesrailways.com alongside my other products. Pre-orders for the first shipment will be up on my website very soon and will be distributed throughout the month with very limited numbers on all stock. Postage will still be set at a flat rate of $10 with free postage with orders over 100 using the code free shipping. And the full details on each tree and type will be outlined on the site, as well as all the payment and postage options. So I'll keep everyone updated on stock and possibly make a standalone video on his handmade HO and N scale trees. Now, on to all the currently announced exhibitions and convention news. Bendigo Model Railroaders will be holding a second hand sale at the Kangaroo Flat Library in Bendigo on Saturday the 8th of April. The Yarra Valley Model Railway Club will be holding the Diamond Creek Exhibition on the 8th and 9th of April. The 15th Narrow Gauge Convention will be hosted in Melbourne over the Easter long weekend, which is April 7th to 9th. Amra Queensland will be having their open day at their club rooms in Zilmere on the 15th of April. The Sydney N-Scale Model Railway Club will have an open day on the 15th of April at their club rooms in Rockdale. Brisbane Model Train Show will be happening over the 6th and 7th of May at the Brisbane Showgrounds. Epping Model Railway Club's Great Train Show will also be held on the 6th and 7th of May at the Rose Hill Racecourse. On May 20 and 21st, La Trobe Valley Model Railway Association will be holding an exhibition at the Warrigal Exhibition Hall. Murray Railway Modeler's annual Model Railway Exhibition will be held in Albury on the 20th and 21st of May. Gisborne Vintage Machinery Society Steam and Vintage Machinery Rally will be happening on the 21st of May and their Model Railway will be on show. On May, Sunday the 21st of June, the Railway Modellers Club of Queensland will hold an open day and buy swap sale day at its club rooms in Brendale, Queensland from 10 to 1. Amaral Western Australia will be holding its annual exhibition on June 3rd to 5th at the Claremont Showgrounds in Perth. Over the King's Birthday long weekend, in South Australia, they'll be holding the Adelaide Model Railway Show, which will be held at the Greyhound Racing Track, South Australia, from the 10th to the 12th of June. In Melbourne, the Waverley Model Railway Club will have its exhibition at the Brandon Park Community Centre. The Ballarat and District Model Railway Club will present their model train show at the Woodmans Hill Recreation Centre in Ballarat. The Logan District Model Railway Club will be having an open day at their club rooms in Slacks Creek, Queensland. The Grampians Model Railway Exhibition will be held on the 8th and 9th of July in Stall, Victoria. The Australian Model Railway Association Victoria will be holding its annual exhibition at the Royal Melbourne Showgrounds Square Town Pavilion on the 5th and 6th of August. This is normally the exhibition that happens at Caulfield, but this year the event has been moved to the showgrounds, with more information coming soon. The Sunshine Model Railway Club will hold its annual exhibition at the Braybrook College Sports Stadium on the first weekend in August. The Gold Coast Model Railway Club will be holding their open day on August the 5th. The NMRA Australian Regional National Convention will be holding rails at Rose Hill from the 29th to the 2nd of October. The three days will see clinics, layout tours and more to suit modelers from beginner to more experienced. More details will be available soon, but in the meantime, you can check out their website, nmra.org.au slash Rose Hill. Their convention, Rails at Rose Hill, is open to all with an interest in the hobby. Interested members can keep in touch with the convention as it develops via their website. In Adelaide on September 2nd, Modelling the Railways of South Australia number 27 will be held at the Flinders Medical Centre, Bedford Park. On October 14th and 15th, the Golden Valley Model Railway Club will be holding its exhibition at the McIntosh Centre in Shepparton. In 2024, the Phillip Island and District Model Railway Club will be holding their exhibition at the Cow Senior Citizens Club. The Sandown Train and Hobby Show will be on again at Sandown Racecourse. In 2024, it will be on the 16th and 17th of March. And lastly, the 2024 National N-Scale Convention has been announced. Although with more details to come, at this point we know it's going to be held in Victoria. So there we go, that's currently all the exhibitions and conventions announced for 2023 and 2024. If you are in a model railway club and you're having an event coming soon, don't forget you can just email me and I'm more than happy to add it to this and even hopefully attend. On that, I'll see you all at the Diamond Creek exhibition and possibly at the Narrow Gauge convention, both happening over the Easter long weekend this month. Now, last month, I gave you all a chance to win Phil Overton's new book and the winner is Ian Jarrett. So congratulations, Ian. So if you are after a copy of Phil's great book, they are available at Modeler's Warehouse in Brisbane, Train World in Melbourne, Australian Modeler in Sydney, and Coles Australian Railway Books and Hobbies on the Sunshine Coast. So this month's question, 
I know it's one I've kind of asked before, but where do you draw inspiration? Currently, at the moment, I've attended a lot of exhibitions throughout the first uh, quarter of this year, and it only gives me more, I guess, inspiration to get back into modeling. I did get asked at the Canberra exhibition, do I still model? And all I can say is I wish I did. Unfortunately, with the amount I'm putting into video editing, video production, and still going to work, I, I, everything, like the layout has all suffered because of it, but I would love to be able to put more time into it. But exhibitions definitely gave me a lot of inspiration. I saw some very, very amazing layouts during the last couple of months. And uh, that's where I'm currently drawing my inspiration from is seeing some of these more micro layouts that, yeah, are something that I think you can get done in a, well, bit more time friendly amount of time. So that could be something that comes soon. Anyway, I guess the question is, where do you draw inspiration from? Is it from going to exhibitions? Is it through watching these videos and seeing maybe some other people's layouts? Let me know in the comments below. Now, depending if you're still watching, I guess this is a bit of a teaser. Thanks to OnTrack Models, there is gonna be a giveaway coming up soon when I review the OTM uh, Louvre Vans. So I guess this is me saying, don't forget to be subscribed so you can keep up to date with all the videos that I've got coming out soon, especially for your chance to win a Louvre van. Um, of course, if you are already a Patreon, you do get entered into that, uh, any, any competition I do automatically. So there is also that if you wanna check out Patreon and help keep these videos produced. Anyway, once again, thank you all so much for watching this, the March 2023 edition of Australian Model Railway News, and I'll be back soon with, well, plenty more videos. So yeah, thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Hooroo.